If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how the Legends, for Wednesday, the Midweek Legends affected the market. Now, the reason I'm doing this video specifically is because I did tell you guys about how sniping the Legends on Legends Saturday and everything goes. Now, today is going to be slightly different. I know a lot of people are going to be asking questions about why it's different, so that's what I want to go over today. First off, it's a Wednesday. Not many people are ready for a Wednesday drop. Not to mention a lot of the communities, but older, you know, working, jobs, a, lot, a good portion of it at least. So a lot of people at work, a lot of the Legend packs are being opened today. The Legends weren't, first off, the Legends weren't that great. A lot of people aren't opening packs today. And if they do, the Legends will come down later. So the best advice I can give you guys in terms of you asking once to snipe, definitely check out later around after work time, like anywhere between like 3 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. Anywhere between then could be a decent time to get some of these Legends. Of course, you could still do it now, but I really do think the Legends took forever to go on the block. They were very slow today. I think it's primarily because a lot of people are working or people have school today. Wednesday is not an optimal day to drop Legends, but we know that. That is kind of the deal with the midweek Legend drop. We didn't expect it to be that great. That's why in the video, I specifically told you guys Legend Saturday drops. Wednesday drops are going to be affected differently. Now, I'm going to check the prices of things to go over how Legends really affected it. I want us to kind of compare how a midweek drop is affected versus Saturday drop because a Saturday drop is kind of banger. It's like crazy. Like the market's just going, 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 going. Today's been a lot slower and that's what we can kind of expect. So I'm going to go over how it affected things. But guys, before we do get into the video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. As always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to bell, boys. Come join the family. As you guys know, we're about 35 subs away from 23,000 boys so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn that on bell come join the family so barry sanders is crazy expensive that's just the fact that like there's nothing great coming out in the game right now he's still far and away the best card now the way legends were affected this morning is that they have come down a bit legends themselves have come down Corley's come down a little bit nothing crazy but as per usual legends will have that effect on the market in general now like guys like dan marino we're going for 260 this morning they came down a slight amount not nothing crazy staying around the normal price now the lower ones did come down a bit more um such as like a jerry rice and those guys richard seymour 245 they were both 260 before i don't know why they were 260 they did come up a bit the last few days i guess just lack of content now the lower pieces are where i've been noticing that prices are coming down a bit and where things are actually being snipable now again don't relate this to oh last yesterday morning they were 125 well this morning they were a bit more expensive before legends drops that's what i'm kind of going off here now, would I recommend you go buy a bunch of stuff right now? No. I recommend you snipe. I don't recommend you buy and keep at this moment in time, personally. Now, let's check out the uh, let's check out some core leads here. I want to see how these were affected by the Legends today. So, right here. Zach Martin did come down a little bit because he was like 135, 140. So, that's not bad. 128. Michael Thomas was 120, right? When Legends were dropping, he was coming down. Bobby Wagner came down a little bit as well. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I think Michael Thomas and Bobby Wagner are trash in Madden right now. Um, they are a bit on the cheaper side if you're a guy that likes those high core elites. Christian McCaffrey was at like 150 before he came down a little bit. So that's the thing with core elites. On a bad, on a bad legend drop, core elites will come down like maybe like 5% of their value. Maybe, maybe 10 max. Maybe. But on a good legend drop, you're going to see things crash bad. Like if today was like a Deion Sanders or a Lawrence Taylor kind of day, you'll see a much bigger crash. Again, but that just goes to show you that a bad legend drop can still impact the market. Not crazy. I told you guys that there's bad, medium, and good. Like there's bad okay and great let's just say great's going to impact like all prices down 10 15 percent maybe even 25 30 depending a regular drop is going to be at 15 percent 20 percent and a bad drop is going to be 5 to 15 somewhere between there uh more or less the they will be similar drops it's just a matter of their ceiling of how big the drop can really get is what's going to be impacted here now uh like aaron donald was just 250s at 233 again not the biggest drop but it's still a decent buy price if you're looking at it that way again i would wait for superstar mvps on friday because they will be introducing a new garrett a new Julio, a new Zeke, so that should kind of hurt the wide receiver, halfback, and end market for the time being, which would be really important because those cards are very expensive specifically right now. Let's go check out what the new legends are going for because the prices have the new legend prices change greatly. The worst thing you could do, guys, and I highly don't, I highly recommend you don't do this. Never buy the legends when they first drop ever. The new ones, Rob Wilson, okay, he was going for 900k, then he was going for 445, now he's 659. What I mean by don't buy them right away is when they first get posted for 900, 800, 700k, don't buy that. Let them hit a bottom. His bottom was clearly 445. Then he came back up to 659. Where do I think he'll end up landing? He'll end in like the 250, 300k range. Not yet. Not, see what I'm saying? Not a lot of people are on buying packs clearly by this. Or people think Rod Woodson's the GOAT. I really don't know which one to fall, where that falls in between. Let's check out Larry Allen. Larry Allen's 342. He is not going for 342. We have, um, we have a, a Team Diamond right guard and we have zach martin there's no reason that larry allen's gonna stay at that price 
wait on him sleep on him don't buy him not worth it for that price either but that's what i'm saying i never buy legends a week to come out in 426 for morton anderson that's just that's just ridiculous almost half a million coins right here for a kicker do not by any means go ahead and do that like i said i do believe they will come down in value as soon as people get home from work more packs are open and then this legend saturday this legend saturday this week since we have a short week on that will end up killing the market for legends at least so definitely wait for that one hopefully we get some bangers this weekend that could really make a big difference in the price range that we can expect to see here now let's go check out the 86 87s let's see how the lower end of the spectrum is being affected here so okay these base elites are still pretty crazy expensive guys um the thing with these guys these are the training guys and a lot of people still want training so that's kind of why these are going to be high in price now they did come down a little bit from where they were i did see guys like nick chubb and some of these guys going for like 85k tucker's down a little bit i saw some of these guys going for like 85 so they're down a slight amount my best my best advice guys if you own any of these core elites like rich sherman not good harris smith not that good clay is not that good um nick chubb's okay i would recommend you sell Devonta adams not that great levante david not that great i would recommend you sell almost every core elite on this list here not the lineman ones not some of these guys but some i do recommend they're going for a very expensive price in terms of what they're actually worthwhile for like i said any 86 88 core elites right now you probably want to be selling just off their base price now they're power like i would say if they're powered up on your team guys i wouldn't recommend you do it unless it's the top piece and you could just and you have abilities you just take them off sell them buy them back in a few days but if you have them all powered up with abilities you're gonna lose training maybe it's not the best idea but legends did give a little bit of a drop today um in my opinion though i wouldn't recommend buying the drop today i would snipe cards but i wouldn't buy the drop what i mean by that is i wouldn't be like okay these drop and buying nick chubb buying stress sherman because they went down five percent ten percent i wouldn't buy the drop i would still probably sell at this point if anything because these core leads are still crazy overpriced i would still be a seller on the market and in terms of legends i would be a buyer in terms of sniping i'd be a i'd be a snipe buyer i wouldn't necessarily be a keeper buyer but for elites right now I, I would just be selling legends i would i would buy buy to resell and then you could try sniping on core leads i just don't think they're gonna be coming out of packs heavy today you want to be snipe you want to be sniping cards that come out of packs heavy uh there's no reason why core leads are going to have a mad selling rush on the on the market today legends are coming out of every pack because every pack you open does guarantee you at least one or two it guarantees you one legend usually you get two in that final pack so just know that they are coming out of packs heavy so you definitely want to be checking that let's check out the 84 to 85s before we head on out of this video 84s 85s are still crazy expensive guys sell them just sell them these cards are not worth this they're not worth this price they're not really that great um i would recommend you sell them guys like rock who are too slow odell is actually pretty good stefan diggs is overrated um jamal adams is good but still very expensive but i mean i guess jamal adams is a keeper based on how good he is but you guys pretty much get the, the consensus here definitely on a buying market yet i do think this saturday will be a buyer's market personally just because of how we're going to be having another legend saturday which is typically a buyer market now do i think it'll be a i feel like that's a snipe you guys know i love to i, I do i do my best work in video uh yeah that is a snipe but i think after i don't want to keep him i don't like him so i think after reduction i'll probably end up making back the same amount so for me it's not really worthwhile there that'd be a good price for any of you guys uh if you guys are actually on the market right now that'd be a good price for someone willing to keep him not my guy though and he hasn't sold it that goes to show you what people think about him but yeah guys so saturday will be a buyer's market in terms of legends i don't think core leads will be a buyer's market yet now superstar mvp on friday might be a buyer's market just because if people if the julio the zeke and the uh julio zeke and the garrett and mink are all really really good it'll be a buyer's market for sure because people are going to be getting rid of some wide receivers for them and some you know some other players for them halfbacks but if they're not great wouldn't touch it i think the the elites will start coming down in about a week once team of the week starts dropping and the nfl season really kicks off and all that stuff happens but guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy today's video um yeah legends of course it was a little subpar in terms of you know value a little subpar in terms of sniping ability today but like i told you that'd be a more of a legend saturday thing um but yeah that's about it guys hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day i am recording a ton of videos today i do have the fios thing coming tomorrow i'm gonna get fiber optic internet which should be huge for the channel guys so i'm really hoping to get that tomorrow but i'm not gonna be able to record so i have to record a ton today so i'll be very busy so if i'm slow on comments today i'm sorry guys that's pretty much what's gonna be the deal just for today i'll answer i answer the comments later night anyways i usually go through one by one go through all of them but right now today specifically it's definitely gonna be a later night just in terms of that but guys enjoy the rest of your day if you haven't already check out the legend video from this morning to see the stats see my reaction see the pack i opened and do all that but that's about it guys go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on about boys join the family make sure you do a big thumbs up as always we're 35 subs away from 23k so make sure to sub up and join join the gang guys and if you haven't already as well if you need coins to pick up some cards go down below to muttreserve.com 
Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. You can also buy training and cards directly if you're not a coin buyer. You want to just pick up some training. You can do that on there as well. But guys, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to check out the other four vids I'll have for the day as well as tomorrow's three to four vids depending. But guys, that's about it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.